Hello there, and this is Jonathan with the SS Motion reviewing another Assassin's Creed set. Uh, now this is set DBJ08. It has 74 pieces and retails at around £10. So this set is based on Assassin's Creed Unity and comes with the Assassin Arno, who is the playable character in that game. Now this is a really, really great little set. Uh, so, as you can see, you get a nice big cannon piece, which is surprisingly complex in terms of build. has a lot of pieces to it. Uh, and you get this little terrain piece that you can put a figure on it. Um, it's just a little addition. And these are meant to be cannonballs. And I will explain why they are not round uh, later on. Okay, so taking a look at Arno, which is, uh, as I said, the main assassin from Assassin's Creed Unity. So, this is the guy that you play as. Uh, he is a highly detailed figure. He's built on the main Assassin's Creed body that we've all come to know. So he has all the ball jointed head, shoulders, etc. Absolutely brilliantly articulated. You can get running poses, climbing poses, anything you want. It's a brilliantly movable figure. But also on this figure is the there's a really good level of detail. You've got the red painted neckerchief. You've got the waistcoat. You've got the uh, blue overcoat, which really stands out. You've got the brown trim on the overcoat, but most importantly, I think, in my opinion anyway, is the uh, Phantom Blade on this hand, which, in case you don't know, is one of the main weapons from Assassin's Creed Unity. It replaces the standard Hidden Blade and basically has a flip-out crossbow as well as the Hidden Blade. So this is in crossbow mode, as you can see. Absolutely brilliant piece. I'm glad they didn't just give us a standard Hidden Blade. As much as I like them, it's good that Mega Bloks paid this close of attention to it um, but if you don't want it on there it does just simply unclip around the wrist so it's not that hard to remove if you don't like it although I don't get how you couldn't it's an absolutely brilliant little piece and I hope we see more of it also featured on this guy you also get the uh, typical sword in this hand that can be removed if you want uh, it's a standard sword, it's nothing special, but I'm glad that they included it. Um, the hood is removable, that can be pulled off, and you get a nice bald head underneath. It doesn't really bear any resemblance to Arno, it just looks like a standard head that they've used, but it's still great they added the removable feature. Also included in this set, and aptly named Cannon Strike set, is obviously the Cannon. Now this is a great piece, obviously as you can see it can roll, um, very easily, I can pivot on it, um, you get the nice lighting stick, so that would be put to roughly here, and that would arm the cannon and allow it to fire, um, it just clips on there, which is a great little feature, the cannon has a little bit of a pivot, which is an interesting little feature, I'm glad that it did, but as well, you get this nice blue trim running through the build of it, which is a really nice little addition. It makes it the cannon build really stand out. You have the nice brown, bright colour, but then you have this blue trim running through it, and it's just really, really nice. It adds a little extra detail. Now, as I mentioned before, the uh, cannonballs that come with this set aren't actually round, and that is because they are actually used as missiles. So you can load the cannon by loading one inside, pull back on this section here and it will fire. There you go. It doesn't really come out very well but it's a great little feature that they've added. Again, no complaints because they didn't have to do it but they did. So I'm really happy. It's a great little feature and it's one of those little gimmicks that doesn't really detract from the build itself. It's just hidden in there. It's not gurishly stood out. So again, I'm so glad that they managed to do that. It's a nice little feature. And it's a, a little play feature that, you know, I'm sure a lot of us will enjoy shooting our little Assassin's Creed figures down with. Um, but past that, the cannon itself, really great build. More parts to it than what I expected. I thought it was would be a more basic build, but it wasn't. Um, and a great little addition. It goes well with the uh, French Revolution troop pack, um, which we've also reviewed. That goes like hand in hand with the French soldiers as they use these cannons. So it's a great little tie in piece and you get a great little assassin with it as well. So no complaints there. So rounding out this little set, you get this little terrain piece where you can mount the cannonballs, get a little barrel which comes with a little pistol. This is the standard brown Assassin's Creed pistol. It can be used on Arno himself, but you can just place it in there and hide it if you want. 
You can put a figure on there if you wanted, but past that, it's just a little terrain piece to make sure you don't lose all the little cannonball missile pieces. So, for £10, you get this fantastic little set. Great little cannon piece that can be used in a diorama, no problem. Great little terrain piece to keep all the cannonballs on. And a fantastic figure of another main character from Assassin's Creed. I don't think you could ask for anything else from this price point of set. Absolutely brilliant. It goes well with all the other sets that you can have. Um, some great little weapons, including the Phantom Blade. Highly recommended you pick this set up when you find it. Uh, it's currently readily available, um, so go out there and get it. You could even army build it if you wanted to collect a few cannons. That's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it today. Um, we will be reviewing more things in the coming weeks. Some Halo sets that we're really excited about. Some Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty. All of your favourites, they will be reviewed on the channel in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!